Well, good day and welcome back to Now We Can See It for 2023. And we're here at Splitters Farm for our very, very first special. And we're very, very proud of it. We love Splitters Farm. It is absolutely beautiful. And we're not only just going to look at the farm, we're going to um, have an interview with the Feel Good family. They are full-time travellers and it was just wonderful to catch up with them. They've got some amazing resources that you can find at the bottom of your screen or at the end of this this clip. The other thing we're going to look at is the retro caravans that you can hire here at the Splitters Farm and we're going to look at the facilities here as well. I'll say you've got a great idea of what the park has to offer. It is probably the best place, most tidiest place that we've ever been to here and it is located in the Bundaberg area. The other thing that we're going to look at at the very end of this is a small little bookshop and cafe that is just lovely in the main street. Splitters Farm is only under a 10 minute drive from Bundaberg Central and when you arrive you can park in this area here with your caravan, check in and then find out a lot about the area and also the grounds themselves. There's plenty of parking that you can see right now including disabled parking and the park is wheelchair friendly which is a big big thing. The other thing to consider when you're here is uh, you can have your own fire as well and that's a beautiful touch. You can purchase firewood here. You can also purchase ice here as well and the other thing is there's a beautiful uh, communal area and camp kitchen that you can use at any time and like anything in this park it is done exceptionally well. So the other thing, phone signal is not a problem here at all. Things for the kids. All right, so you've got your animals, of course. This is a rescue farm and there's plenty of animals around. Kayaking down on the river, you can go to the dam and hire a little uh, paddle boat for the kids as well and that'll keep them occupied for a while. And you've also got the two-seater trike push bikes as well and you know what there's just heaps to do you can bring a kite you can learn about the animals you can do open fire cooking you can use this as a solid base to explore Bundaberg uh, once again we are privileged to be here with Carly from Splitters Farm here just at Bundaberg so I'm really excited to be here this time. Last time we were here with Carly, we spoke about the glamping tents. We did, yeah. Of which um, we're fortunate enough to be staying in the glamping tents, feeling very, very spoiled. But um, as you're aware, close to our heart is a um, vintage caravan. So I was super, super excited to see the three caravans that are here. And I believe you're getting more of those. If you can tell us a bit about them. Yeah, so we, um, obviously the glamping tents, the, the park itself is pet friendly, but the glamping tents obviously being five star yeah we can't have pets um in that in those facilities mm. but uh we went and just fell in love with these awesome mm, um stardust caravans and these stardust caravans uh range from uh 1960 to 1968 but we we've acquired three of them now um they're perfect for families we do have one of our um one of our stardust um riviera that is just for two people but they've got bunk beds in them and, and obviously we can allow um, pets so people can. Yeah, yeah. It's a mid-range accommodation um, if you don't have your own caravan and you just want to stay in something really cute and quirky, it, it's yeah. an option. We did ours up in October, so 24-foot yeah. 1975 Viscount, so really, really great to um, travel along in one of those. There, there is something definite about those vintage and older style vans. So and, um, I just want to also also say that I can't speak highly enough of Splitters Farm. For those of you that have not been here, um, Carly and Ashley turn themselves inside out for their people that are staying here. Um, and also the grounds are impeccable. Everything's just beautiful. And there's so much to see and do around the Bundaberg area yeah. as well. Yeah, a lot of like little hidden, hidden gems that we we, uh, we only tell you about if you're staying with us. Yeah, we found a few of those little <laughs> hidden gems yesterday downtown shopping, I can tell you that as well. So Dee is the first, which is a Stardust Riviera. Uh, amazing queen size bed in it and really comfortable. It's actually the same grade of bedding as our glamping tents. Oh, beautiful. It's a pain in the neck to make it, but you know what? Like luxury has to be something that you, you get when you stay in these things. Um, they Both Luna and Venus come with coffee makers, all of your linen, uh, your firewood when you get here. 
there's not a whole lot of difference between what you get in this and a glamping tent. The only thing is shared facilities. So you get to share our modern amenities and use of the camp kitchen. It's a little bit easier to sort of walk just over there mm -hmm. and cook in the amazing camp kitchen facility rather than um, do it inside the tent. Probably the only difference, all of the inclusions of farm access, the linen, the amazing bread of a morning. Yes, you oh, get the wow. amazing bread delivered at eight o'clock. Uh, so all of that's included and, and yeah, you get to stay in these awesome little cu cute little retro vans. Yeah, so make sure book well ahead. Let's take a look inside. Come and join us. Well, like I said, Splitter's Farm is absolutely brilliant. And look at this. This is one of the outdoor areas of the camp kitchen. There's a pizza oven. There's a little area which is a dam and you can swim in that. It's quite safe to do that. There's paddle boats as well for the kids. There's heaps of wildlife around. Also, the showers, toilets, laundry is fantastic. It takes both coin and FPOS as well. So that's really, really good. This is a parents' room. So if you're trying to struggle where you're trying to get all the kids washed at the same time and it's really challenging, Farmer Carly and Farmer Ash have really thought about everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> Change table. A good size seat to put an infant in. The toilets, obviously, plenty of room and a massive shower. So anyway, I really look forward to what they're going to do next here at Splitter's Farm. The tree is a beautiful and amazing stay. We're in the main street of Bundaberg at number 55, right in the heart of our CBD. We're a second-hand bookstore, but we also stock books from local authors as well. We are an art gallery featuring uh, new other local artists every six weeks. We also sell vinyl, which is, um, I'm pretty sure we're the only spot in town that sells, uh, sells drugstores. And we're a little cafe as well. We have great coffee, tea, scones, damper, it's always a favourite as well. We have regular events here as well, um, as well as our art exhibition opening nights. We do uh, Friday night specials, uh, we have poetry nights, um, and often do uh, book launches and other fun book related activities. Yeah. And there's a beautiful pond that you can see now, or it's a dam in fact, and you can swim in that and get a paddle steamer. Paddle steamer? There's no paddle steamer here, it's a paddle boat. And we're doing our special here at Splitter's Farm and one of the reasons why we do specials is you meet some fantastic people along the way in your travels and we have got here the happy family. I've got it wrong I think already. That's right. Looper, looper, looper. <laughs> 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 Let's start that again. So now I'm going to get tongue tied. So now no, that was great intro.